Hey, what's up everybody? Marlon Lad here. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about a show that I've been watching for a while, okay? This is kind of like my movie of the week. It is called The 100. So The 100 is a show, I don't know what channel it actually comes on, but I watch it on Netflix. They have the first five seasons on there. I think there's only five seasons so far. Anyway, so you can binge watch this thing. It's a really good show. It combines sci-fi and a post-apocalyptic world, and it is drama and action and adventure. Uh, it's got a little bit of everything, okay? Like, this is a really, really good show. Let's go through the storyline. Okay, so Earth was uninhabitable uh, for radiation reasons and all this kind of stuff. And so there is a group of survivors that are on this ark out in space. Well, they call it the ark, but it's a spaceship, obviously. So what they're gonna do is they have these kids that they have been sort of uh, pushing towards being able to go back to Earth. They've been conducting experiments and things like that. So there's 100 kids and what they're doing is they're gonna send the kids back down to Earth to see if they survive. If they survive, then everybody on the Ark is gonna come down and everything's gonna be hunky-dory, okay? So that's how the story starts. So, you know, pretty good concept, right? All right, so let's go on to the acting. The acting is superb. I mean, they have a lot of different characters. They do a good job of spending time on, you know, the different characters throughout the seasons. And, you know, they have like strong women. And, you know, what I like about the women on the show is they can be strong, but they can also be, you know, very emotional, like, you know, still sort of have all these woman-like qualities, but still be smart, uh, you know, intelligent, compassionate, uh, and strong and tough, you know? And so they have these characters, they have um, just, a, it's it's an eclectic group of people. And then, you know, they encounter people that have been on the earth since they have been in space. And that's a whole different world right there. So um, the acting is excellent. I mean, they did a really good job on casting, so I can't say enough about that. The directing is really, pretty special, you know, for a TV show. I mean, it's it's very cinematic, you know, the wardrobe design, the special effects and all that stuff. Like, I don't know what kind of budget they had, but it had to be really high or they just had to have some really good people that knew what they were doing. Because to go, you know, from post-apocalyptic to space, like th those are two different worlds right there. And they're doing that and they're doing it seamlessly. So that, it's just awesome. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of really cool things about this show. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, picture this show, it's like a freaking soap opera. There's always some huge drama going on. They got to like save the world or save all the people or uh, we got to save our people. Uh, so we got to kill all these people. Like there's always some of the same decisions that go on. But what makes this show really kind of special is that they always have some great action, great fighting, great adventures. Um, you know, there's always something like that. So, you know, the worst part of the show is that kind of high drama is like, you know, it's, it's just too much. It's like unrealistic. It's, it's basically like a soap opera that combines all of these elements. So, you know, people love soap operas that come on every day and they love that drama aspect of it. So it has that, but then it also has the action and adventure that soap operas cannot deliver. And you put that on the backdrop of a sci-fi post-apocalyptic world and this is what you got. So if you have a chance to check it out, like I said, it's on Netflix, five seasons, go check it out. Go watch it. Let me know what you think. All right. So, till next time, I am Lad Marlin Lad. And this is Marlin Lad's Reviews. Holla. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on, okay? If you like these videos, definitely leave me a thumbs up.